When we think of fluorescent lighting today, we often imagine the sterile glow of office buildings, classrooms, or big box stores. But behind that familiar hum and white light lies a fascinating story of scientific discovery, technological innovation, and global transformation. The history of fluorescent lighting stretches back to the 19th century through the pioneering work of physicists and inventors who were captivated by the mysterious behaviors of gases and electricity. What began as a curious scientific phenomenon evolved into a revolutionary lighting technology that reshaped the way the world works, learns, and lives. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. The origins of fluorescent lighting can be traced back to the discovery of cathode rays in the 1850s. Scientists like Heinrich Geisler and Julius Plucker began experimenting with gas discharge tubes, which would emit light when an electric current passed through them. These early glass tubes, evacuated of air and filled with gases such as neon or mercury vapor, were the ancestors of both neon and fluorescent lights. Geissler created the first Geissler tube in the 1850s, which became a popular novelty item and a scientific curiosity. They didn't provide much illumination, but they demonstrated that electricity and gas could be used to produce light, an idea that would grow into something much larger. These tubes laid the groundwork for later discoveries in the field of electroluminescence and gas discharge, which are essential principles behind fluorescent lighting. The next major breakthrough came with the discovery of ultraviolet light and its ability to stimulate fluorescence. In 1896, German physicist Friedrich Reinitzer and British physicist Sir William Crookes observed that certain materials emitted visible light when exposed to invisible ultraviolet rays. This led to a growing interest in materials that fluoresced, meaning they absorbed invisible radiation and re-emitted it as visible light. Around the same time, Wilhelm Röntgen's discovery of X-rays further pushed the scientific community to investigate electromagnetic radiation in all its forms. These breakthroughs deepened our understanding of light, radiation, and the potential to harness these phenomena for practical uses. In the early 20th century, inventors began to envision practical lighting devices based on these discoveries. The key to creating fluorescent lighting was figuring out how to coat the inside of a glass tube with phosphor materials that would glow when struck by ultraviolet light, which was generated by an electric arc passing through mercury vapor. This concept became viable through the efforts of several inventors, including American engineer Peter Cooper Hewitt. In 1901, Hewitt developed one of the first mercury vapor lamps. These lamps emitted a bluish-green light that was far from ideal for general use, but they were efficient and lasted longer than incandescent bulbs. Although not quite fluorescent, Hewitt's lamps represented a crucial step in the evolution of gas discharge lighting. It wasn't until the 1930s that true fluorescent lighting became a commercial reality. A major turning point came with the work of American inventors and scientists at General Electric GE, particularly George Inman and Richard Thayer. Inman and his team successfully developed a practical fluorescent lamp by combining a mercury vapor discharge with a phosphor coating on the inside of the glass tube. When the ultraviolet light generated by the discharge hit the phosphor, it would glow brightly in the visible spectrum these lamps were more energy efficient and lasted longer than incandescent bulbs, making them an attractive option for large-scale lighting applications. General Electric introduced the first commercially viable fluorescent lamps at the 1939 New York World's Fair, 
where they captured the public's imagination and marked the beginning of a new era in lighting. During World War II, fluorescent lighting gained momentum as factories and military facilities sought efficient, long-lasting lighting solutions. The wartime boom in industrial production meant that the advantages of fluorescent lights, especially their lower energy consumption and longer life, were in high demand. After the war, fluorescent lights quickly spread to schools, offices, hospitals, and other institutions. By the 1950s and 60s, they had become a staple of modern architecture and interior design. Their long tubular form was ideal for ceiling fixtures, and the cool, even light they emitted was seen as a symbol of technological progress and modernity. Despite their popularity, fluorescent lights were not without issues. Early versions sometimes flickered, emitted a noticeable hum, and had color rendering problems that made human skin and food appear unnatural under their glow. Over time, advances in ballast technology and phosphor chemistry addressed many of these concerns. The introduction of rare earth phosphors in the 1970s significantly improved the color quality of fluorescent lighting, making them more suitable for a wider range of applications, including retail and residential use. Compact fluorescent lamps or CFLs emerged in the 1980s and 90s as a direct competitor to the incandescent bulb, offering similar energy savings in a more convenient form factor. In recent years, fluorescent lighting has begun to lose ground to an even more efficient and versatile technology, the light-emitting diode, or LED. LEDs offer longer lifespans, lower power consumption, instant startup, and superior color rendering without the use of mercury. As governments and consumers alike have moved toward environmentally friendly lighting solutions, the popularity of fluorescent lights has waned. So the next time you walk into an old building and hear the soft hum of a fluorescent tube overhead, remember that you're witnessing the legacy of over a century of innovation. From early experiments with gas and electricity to global adoption in offices, schools, and factories, fluorescent lighting has lit the way for generations. Though its time in the spotlight may be fading, its place in the history of science and technology is forever secure. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.